<laughs> How did I get duped into this? All right, all right, before we get too far into it, y'all should know the drill by now. This video is for subscribers only, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I'm gonna need you to do that right now. Big day, so y'all remember this. I designed a little camera mounting system and sent the parts off to be 3D printed, and they're here. This is the part that slides along the camera roll mount on top right here. These two parts are the parts that come on the sides to connect everything. I'm going to put it together and make sure I got the sizes right, and then we might be able to install the thing. Now I just have to figure out how I'm going to get it on the wall. I can't just mount this rod right here to the wall because this has to be behind it. So I need a spacer. Probably need like two two by fours. Let's see here. Um, fun stud, three two by fours up here, three two by fours down here. Attach the rod just like that. Need some pulleys. I got to figure this out, but I need three two by fours. Uh, I need to drill into the metal studs in the wall. But first I need to work out. I haven't thrown in two weeks, taking my two weeks a year off, but it's important to just continue to play catch. Keeps your arm kind of grooved in, this, in the pattern that you need it to be in. So when you do start ramping up to throw, you're not starting from dead zero. It's easily avoidable. If you just don't stop throwing, just continue to play light catch three or four times a week until you're ready to really start up your off-season throwing program. Pro tip. It is off to the store to get some materials to put up my camera mount. I need some two by fours, need some screws. Here we go. Well, I got hungry, so I gotta go get some food. I don't know if I'll build more tonight or if I'll just try to get to bed a little earlier and build tomorrow. Well, didn't get around to it last night, but I gotta get these two by fours up on the wall, which means I gotta find some studs, get the right screws, drill some holes, the whole deal. Hopefully I got my math right. Looks like we need to be five and a half feet off the ground on the bottom and eight and a half feet off the ground at the top which is about what I remembered, but now I have definitive numbers, so let's go get these boards up on the wall. It's overkill, but it's a thing of beauty. So now we'll put the same type of setup right over here. Look at that. I'm pretty excited about this. As you guys have seen, we'll slide back and forth. And if you put the camera on it, you can see the angles that it can get. So that'll be a righty and a lefty off the middle mound. So if you take these pins out, then there'd be a pulley system that can slide this thing down or up. Depending on how high you need the camera, we'll leave it at the bottom for right now. Next thing we need to do is make some marks. We got the bar labeled. 
four, five, six. You'll be able to tell, okay, line up the arrow. Go with number uh, 23, boom, you're in the right place. And now you know that that's consistent every time. Same thing on the sides, we got, you line this arrow up with the letter, B, C, D, E, etc., all the way to the top. And then you'll be able to have that in the same place. Well, Tyke Green came to town, so, I'm gonna go meet up with him at the facility. He's in town for a while, so I'm gonna find something fun to do. Get to have some friends around. I'm gonna set up my desk. I got a couple curved monitors, got a monitor stand. I'm gonna have an actual, an actual setup instead of just a laptop. So we got these boxes. I'm claiming this part as my desk. I'm gonna get that set up, and we're gonna put the pulleys on the camera system today. And then I gotta work out and throw, which I don't really wanna do, but gotta force myself to do it anyway. There we have it, I have two screens now. Day two of off-season throwing. Took yesterday off of throwing. We don't wanna like ramp up too quickly and get anything that's inflamed. First week of on-ramping usually, I only throw plyo balls. Second week I do plyo balls and light stuff, uh, playing catch kind of off a mound at like 70 miles an hour. And then usually by the third week, I'm kind of starting the ramp up to velo phase, but that's considering I only take two weeks off. Obviously you need a lot longer ramp up phase if you take more time off, but that's where we're at today. Game plan for the day, Taiki and I are going over to Tasha's house and then we're gonna head out to the lake and have a good time hanging out by the lake and baking in the sun. Should we bring towels? Should we bring towels? I may as well throw them in the car. Is that a blanket or a towel? It's your blankets. <laughs> There's all these American flags at this Canadian's house. Hey, no. I know. He's now he's an American citizen. citizen. Oh, what the <laughs> day, man. I worked really hard not to have these anymore. Oh, he's off. Oh, the beast. In a few weeks, the pup grew into the beast. And he grew big. And he grew mean. So they could protect the junkyard with only one thing on his mind. To kill everyone that broke in. And he did. Oh. You can't really ignore him. I know, it's kind of, kind of, kind of He's just like all over you. He's running in circles. Odin, place. Oh yeah, we gotta bring a tennis ball or something. Oh yeah. And now we're off to get lunch. But Taiki hasn't decided where yet. There's Chipotle. Well, you got that yesterday. I did get Chipotle yesterday or the day before, one or two. Um... I'm feeling mad greens. Oh yeah, like a bowl type thing? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Then off to the lake. I've left the McLaren behind and I've upgraded to the uh, back of a pickup truck. Very comfortable seating. Just as comfortable as the McLaren, actually. Uh, McLaren's more comfortable, to be honest. But uh, I have back here a floaty. And a couple chairs. Ow, oh, oh, uh, ah, uh, Because uh. you've picked a rockier place to drive, Tosh. Oh, uh, uh. Where are we going? Oh, oh. How did I get duped into this? And we here. Nope, nope, nope. 
Not a bad way to take in the sunset. 